For some of us, Rama exiling Sita to the forest while she was pregnant is one of the most disturbing and incomprehensible events in the Ramayana. It seriously tests their faith and in some cases actually breaks it, leading some to even offend Lord Rama. They forget it is a divine leela that the Lord has his own reasons for doing what he does. They are not always within the purview of our tiny understandings. Most devotees realize that we cannot always enter into the Lord's mysteries, that we have to accept karma on his terms, and that no matter how it may seem to us, that karma always has our best interest at heart. However, the Shastras are vast, and in them, many apparent contradictions and mysteries are resolved, including the mystery of why Rama exiled pregnant Sita, Sita to the forest. The 57th chapter of the 5th canto reveals the secret of why Rama exiled Sita to the forest. The story is not part of the original Valmiki Ramayana, but a part of the later interpolation of Uttarakhanda. After the couple came back to Ayodhya, Rama was crowned as a king with Sita by his side. While Rama's trust and affection for Sita never wavered, it soon became evident that some people in Ayodhya could not accept Sita's long captivity under Ravana. One day, an interpermate washerman, while beating his wayward wife, declared that he was no pulsinimous Rama or as kind and generous as Rama who would take his wife back after she had lived in the house of another man. This common folk started gossiping about Sita and questioned Rama's decision to make her queen. Rama actually sent six of his spies around Ayodhya to know about the well-being of his kingdom. Five of the spies returned back and said that the entire kingdom glorified Rama's name and were living very happily. However, one of the spies bought the popular scandal back, but he hesitated to tell it to Rama. However reluctant he was, Rama asked him to confess whatever he heard from the people around Ayodhya. The words fell on Rama like a thunderbolt and he almost fainted. On regaining his consciousness, he called his brother Bharata and explained the entire situation. But finally, he told Lakshmana that as a king, he had to make his citizens pleased and the purity of the queen of Ayodhya has to be above any gossip and rumour. With a heavy heart, he instructed him to take Sita to a forest outside Ayodhya and leave her there. Thus, Sita was forced into exile a second time. Sita, who was pregnant, was given refuge in the hermitage of Sage Valmiki, where she delivered twin sons named Lava and Kusha. In the hermitage, Sita raised her sons alone as a single mother. They grew up to be valiant and intelligent and were eventually united with their father. Once she had witnessed the acceptance of her children by Rama, Sita sought final refuge in the arms of her mother Bhumi, the earth. Hearing her plea for release from an unjust world and from a life that had rarely been happy, the earth dramatically split open. Mother Earth appeared and took the depressed, sad and lonely Sita away. Sita's exile during her pregnancy was because of a curse during her childhood. According to Padma Purana, Sita had caught a pair of divine parrots, which were from Valmiki's ashram when they were young. The birds were talking about story of Sri Rama heard in Valmiki's ashram, which intrigued Sita. She had the ability to talk with animals. The female bird was pregnant at that time. She requested Sita to let them go and return from Valmiki's ashram, as they knew, only up to their marriage. But Sita only allowed her male companion to fly away, kept the female parrot with her. And the parrot died because of separation from her companion. As a result, the male bird cursed Sita that she would suffer a similar fate of being separated from her husband during pregnancy. The male bird was reborn as a washerman, according to the legends. While the Ramayana mostly concentrates on Rama's actions, Sita also speaks many times during the exile. The first time is in the town of Chitrakuta, where she narrates an ancient story to Rama, whereby Rama promises to Sita that he will never kill anybody without provocation. The second time Sita is shown taking prominent role is when she spoke to Ravana. Ravana has come to her in the form of a medicant and Sita tells him that he does not look like one. Some of her most prominent speeches were with Hanuman when he reached Lanka. Hanuman wanted an immediate union of Rama and Sita and thus he proposed to Sita to ride on his back. Sita refused 
as she does not want to run away like a thief. Instead, she wanted her husband to come and defeat Ravana to rescue her. According to the Hindu tradition, Sita has been portrayed as an ideal daughter, an ideal wife and an ideal mother in various texts. She is often worshipped with Rama as his consort. The actions, reactions and instincts manifested by Sita at every juncture in a long and arduous life and deemed exemplary. Her story has been portrayed in the book of Sitaenam. The values that she enshrined and adhered to at every point in the course of demanding life are the values of womanly virtues held sacred by countless generations of Indians. Although Sita's stature is always kept with Rama, Sita sacrificed a lot, went through many hardships. Her purity was tested. Her simplicity and love for her husband and her family never stopped her from obeying any orders. She is known for her dedication, self-sacrifice, courage and purity.